Do you think we should put a restraining order on Hop from last episode? <laughs> Welcome back everybody to Pokemon Sword. <laughs> Time for video games. <laughs> Time to face Master Mustard in what I believe is the final battle of the DLC of this first DLC. Who are you ready for another battle with little old me? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the battleground. This was King. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking more and more these days. <laughs> Always a dangerous pastime. About how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough, Milia. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Now then, let's get things going. This is the most fun time in the world! Hello, I have a mustache. It's been a while since I faced such a strong opponent. My blood's boiling over. Time to see exactly what all this training has made of you. And big level jump here. Seems like victory smiles on me today. Uh huh. Zakita, I don't think that's a good idea to pet steel. <laughs> it's like petting a tank. <laughs> Thanks for allowing your defense. <laughs> I seen you got your fundamentals down, Pat, but that alone won't cut it. It's been sort it's not competitive Pokemon. Most likely it's gonna cut it. <laughs> and guess what? He has an actually well-developed team as well. Wow! It's not just fighting types, it's fighting and electric <laughs> as well already. Something completely different than what he had. Someone's practiced <laughs> that. Electro is my second favorite electric type Pokemon. Used to be my favorite. And then I watched the Pokemon TV show and Pikachu happened. <laughs> Even though you wanted to stop watching Pokemon TV show. A single slip could cost you everything. It's like you're drowning Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewie! <laughs> Get down there, Chewie! I don't care what you smell! <laughs> it's one of my favorite out of context lines. Come on, more. Uh-oh. <laughs> Never mind, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you?
Hey, we have one of those. Kill this player. Yeah, I was thinking between and Lillian probably went out speed, so yeah, Leone it is. Also, considering that, that his title is Dojo Master oh, no. Mustard, that does mean that his students' names were actually students. So... It's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty concerned about how this how this fight is gonna go because uh, we're too nervous to eat berries. Yeah, and we're holding so many we're, berries. We're, we're, in, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, thank goodness! Oh man, we barely made it through that one. I don't know what we would have done if we needed to eat a berry. <laughs> now we're able to eat berries though, so we're, I think we're fine. <laughs> Now yeah, for a minute there, I was too nervous to eat berries. I'm to remember which lichen rock mustard it uses. Okay, the wolf one. The better one. I don't know, I like the midnight form. <laughs> but it's a wolf. The oh, werewolves. <laughs> werewolves. Oh, is there a wolf and a werewolf? Yeah. Oh. There's the day form and midnight form. Anyway, uh... Actually, Bruce, stay out there. I need a meat shield. Monsieur's not only getting shot for now Try you're not to, to get captivated by my knight. Become the gigantic fist that breaks your opponent as one would smash through a board. I believe this is the water version, so that's why I'm healing Lillian. Good job, Bruce! Who is he? I'm a fish! I'm a fish! Fish! Heh. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. You were a fish. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bruce. He was a fish. <laughs> oh, I thought you healed all the way. Oh. Incorrect. Mm. That's bad. Eh, oh, Lillian should be fine, though. Sadly, it's the water type version, so we couldn't really use Leone's Gigantamax for this. <laughs> but oh well. See if you can withstand this move. Show me what you're made of. Ouchie ouch. Zap. <laughs> you know, like the current ran across the battlefield. I'm sure no one was harmed. I'm sure it's fine.
frame febs and flows in an endless one moment you grab it and the next it slips from your hand. The strength you now have, the strength that lets you that let you defeat me. It is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I hold absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses her master. A true moment of pride for the master. You deserve a very special league card from me. Seems I will have to redo my own training from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost. Wasn't Hop supposed to be? Oh, there he is. <laughs> ah, so you all came. I know I can't resist seeing you get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. You all look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing, Milia. That's why we all need to have some max soup tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think they'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Millie. I knew you'd win. <laughs> I'm Millie. I, I just, well, I guess I should congratulate you. But I won't. Why should I celebrate anything you do, huh? <laughs> Still, that cleared up a lot. You're strong enough to beat the master going all out. I never stood a chance. But the next time I face you, I'll take you on fair and square. And I won't lose. You'll see. Are you, are you sure about that? Ugh. You're downright infuriating, you know that? Almost as bad as I am. <laughs> well, she at least she's aware of her own flaws. Which one? <laughs> well, that wraps up the last of the training here at the Master Dojo. What do you, do? What do you mean? Amelia is completely flawless in every way. Oh, back to normal, huh, Master? Amelia, I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make us both stronger. Just so we're ready for when the time comes. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. Anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, so what happened to that Urshifu you had, Milia? Uh... <laughs> the end. Forever. Thanks for watching this Let's Play, everybody. Total lie. <laughs> I can't believe you beat the master, even when he was serious. Amelia, you might be able to tackle this dojo's most grueling type of training ever. Restricted sparring. If you had the courage to try it, let me know. I don't even remember what that was. Because <laughs> you didn't have the courage to try it. Amelia, but you'll never guess what rare Pokemon I found when I was out doing my survey. Let's see it then. Or later. The training must be keeping you real busy, huh? I think that might be a fight with Pop, so I don't know. I'm gonna heal just in case. <laughs> well, we could actually be challenged for once in our lives. We were challenged by the previous Hop, remember? <laughs> For twice in our lives. Amelia, I bet you'll never guess what rare Pokemon I found. Okay, never mind. It's just Pokedex. <laughs> Trixie! <laughs> Surprise? Don't worry, mate. I keep on letting you know whenever we'll I find a cool Pokemon you've never managed to see. Oh, so you can help me finish your Pokedex? Yep. <laughs> finish the Olive Armor Pokedex, yeah. God, you look weird. You like it? Hey, I thought you might be the type. 
That's Porygon, a virtual Pokemon in the flesh. Ed, in the code. Just imagine being put to basically progress. Uh, so anyway, you can have it. Hardly anyone ever beats Daddy at his full strength, after all. If these were the old games, I'd have to put a Pokemon in the PC just to get this thing. <laughs> So really our technology was used to create Porygon. It was the first artificial Pokemon to be created by a po computer programming. Mmm... Leah. Hmm? Leah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Leah. <laughs> Cherish that poke at Porygon. It'll give you a better appreciation for human ingenuity if you do. Okay, bye. I almost forgot. This photo was taken about 50 years ago when Mustard defeated the fairy type gym leader and went on to become champion. He reigned undefeated until he lost his partner Pokemon. After this, his losses started to mount. They were paying popular even after losing the mantle of champion, but decided to retire after the late chairman at the time asked him to win in a rigged match. Mustard developed an obsession with video games after his retirement. Apparently he held off while he was still active in order to maintain his image to his fans. Also, his number is zero. <laughs> See, I'm even better than number one. I'm number zero. <laughs> Bird! new Pokemon I might see to do today. Every day is a new discovery. Where are you going, Lilia? I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to f f f figure out where the hell freaking Clara went. Because we, we have a lead card that we still have to grab from her. <laughs> She's not. I do she wouldn't be out in the field. I don't know. If we try to leave. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, if not, we can just spend the rest of this episode just running around and finding other wild Pokemon. <laughs> I am a world-renowned designer of fashion. You are Galarian, I presume. This is my first time setting foot in this region, and I must say, it seems rather deserted. You're on the Isle of Armor! I beg your pardon, I've disembarked at the wrong station. I am fortunate you were here to steer me true. My most heartfelt gratitude to you. I say, I've heard Dallas champion Leon is quite a beloved figure in the region. I smell the opportunity to take advantage of Leon's wild popularity to seek for their riches. Hence, my voyage. But now I find myself without the funds to even reach my destination. Do you don't mind if I just delectably, surprisingly cute and somber I've designed for 3,000 poker dollars? It would cover my taxi for an armor. Helping hand in my hour of need, what a kindly soul! My sincerest thanks, my friend, and as promised, here you are! You got a WFG ensemble containing a casual tee, a hoodie, pattern tights, and a sport cap. Some of these are hard to come by. Give me these if you'll purchase, I guarantee it. With that, I bid you farewell. Bye. <laughs> by the way, I'm the champion now. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, <laughs> you freaking money grubber. 
worth my merchandise. I mean, three thousand Pokey dollars is pretty cheap compared to some of the stuff we bought. Yeah, I can, yeah, three thousand. That's nothing. I can grab that from Youngster Joey's lunch money wallet when I ring him under under using his legs. <laughs> Constance, just imagine Constance, like, talking him underwater. SUBMIT! 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 It's kinda dark, y'all. <laughs> and you saying dunking him in the water made me think and <laughs> just kept keeping dunking him underwater. Okay, you're right, that's too intense. He doesn't, you do it to his, you do it to his radicate instead. <laughs> no, his Rattata. His Rattata. <laughs> He's at the top of the Just eradicate your speak of. <laughs> Dodge the dogs and everything. I just run around trying to find things. Dog! Yeah, puppies know my for the power of a true Super Saiyan! This thing really sucks. <laughs> Poor guy. You need free protected. <laughs> Get in the box. This Pokemon is courageous but also cautious. It uses the soft fur covering its face. Collect information about its surroundings. How does that work? Or Mario, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of any dogs. There, I did it. Toby? Yeah. What, what, what's Toby? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, Toby Fox. Got it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, there she is. She found the slowpoke and it stares at her. That's it, slowpoke. Use that epic poison move. Hey, guys, have you heard about that new poison type move? It's called Poison Sting. <laughs> Come on! Can't you at least try to be more energetic? Next time I battle her, I'll be the one that comes out on top. Huh? Amelia, how long have you been eavesdropping? Are you training? But it's off! It's none of your business what I'm up to! Just forget ever seeing me here, okay? There we go. You can keep that if you promise to keep your mouth shut. And well, good luck to you, I guess. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, have you heard about that new bitch? It's called Clara, who left me here. <laughs> Screw that lady. 
She left me alone to die. Slow. <laughs> The training at the poison type gym was a lot harsher than Clara was ready for. She gave up after two days. It was during this time she saw an ad for the Master Dojo during a late night TV show. The Master seemed kind and Clara thought it would help her become strong without having to try too hard, so she immediately called in to apply. Normally Clara's sole focus is to be doted on by others, so she puts only the bare minimum into her training. But recently a new student at the dojo has caused a change of attitude. She now works secretly with her slow bro to better herself. Slowbro does a lot to help. <laughs> it's called moral support. By sleeping? <laughs> yeah. It looks cute and it makes her happy so she can be motivated. Uh, I don't freaking know. <laughs> I'm a proud mama. <laughs> <laughs> Fight! Time to die! Oh, you're putting me to sleep! A Super Saiyan depart deserves a stronger opponent than this! Weak! You're weak! Just like the rest of your people, they didn't deserve to live in this world. In my world! This isn't even a Vegeta quote! Although it's carrying its baby in a pouch on its belly, Kangaskhan is swift on its feet and intimidates its opponents with quick jabs. Uh, Kanga and Rue? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. It took me way too long to get the pun on their names, by the way. Same. I felt really dumb. <laughs> oh, I just realized that that's a, uh... That, 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 the electric and the computer Pokemon on the back of her shirt. Oh, Rotom. Yeah, I just realized that's Rotom on her shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess we're done with the Isle of Armor, unless we want to explore around and just catch things. Uh, we could do the restricted battles! You don't get anything for it. The pride of success. I don't care about that. The ultimate trainer power. I don't care about that. If I cared about the pride of success, I'd actually complete a Pokédex in my lifetime. That's too far. It's something fun. And then you cast if you do it. They just question your sanity and what you're doing with your life. What's the difference? <laughs> I want that. <laughs> I got a twig! The material for it's an accessory of a certain Pokemon. Hello, people call me Diggin' Ma. Have you met Diggin' Pa? He's my partner. I enjoy digging. I feel like you give me a piece of Amorite ore. But now I'll give you a chance to choose. You receive Amorite Ore, you can use our payment to have me dig to see if I can fit even more Amorite Ore. However, if my lovely shell breaks while I'm digging, you won't get anything. 
Gina asks you to quickly save your progress first, but you're seeking some thrills. It is unavoidable. Brace yourself. Here I go. Dig. I had a hot rock and my lovely shovel broke. Wait! My lovely shovel is whispering that it still wants to dig. Second wind, here I go! Yeah! I dug up three pieces! <laughs> what it, the heck? That sounded like she built, dug up an entire building. Stop now, you'll get four pieces of armor right over. Shall I keep digging? Yes. Here I go! Ah, sorry, I hit on a rock and my lovely show broke. You're supposed to get his dog, so just laugh. Hey, see you again somewhere. That was fun. I had a fun time. Dig. Anyway, I'll do my best off screen to find to find like the mushrooms and stuff so I can Gigantamax the other Pokemon in our party. I'll do my best for that. I'm not making any promises, but I'll try. Love to cook! Give us another visit tomorrow! Barry! I don't I need Vegeta's ass in the picture <laughs> game. <laughs> oh, we're in Barry's. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by! But, 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 what, but what a waste it would be if you were trying to use a Barry, but your team was too nervous to eat berries. <laughs> it would be a complete disaster. Sure. Focus Blast! I get it, Baneri, you exist! That is my crime. It is inexcusable. Indeed. Indeed. More data came back. You've had eight data so far, so please find 143 more. You get back at five, so let's give this Pokemon to you. That's the Pokemon in Alola, just like my Diglett. You see me out. Name the cat. <laughs> uh, princess. Uh, Princess Meowth. <laughs> Princess is Firestar's sister. She's a kitty pet. Anyway, since I'm here, I'm gonna find what other Pokemon you get for doing the Diglett quest. Okay, five Diglett, you get a Lonelin Meowth, as we just saw. Ten Diglett, you get a regular Kanto Slowpoke. Twenty Diglett, you get a Lolan Vulpix. Thirty Diglett, you get a Lolan Chantru. Forty Diglett, you get a Lolan Raikou. Fifty Diglett, you get a Lolan Marowak. Seventy-five Diglett, you get a Lolan Exeggutor. One hundred Diglett, you either you get one of the f one of the f free free. Alolan Starters, which is Rowlet, Litten, or Poplio, and at 150 Diglets, you get a Diglet. <laughs> you get an Alolan Diglet. <laughs> Those are your rewards <laughs> for finding 150 Diglet <laughs> scattered throughout the entirety of the Isle of Armor. Hello, 
Dig leg. Dig leg. Yeah, that's it for the Isle of Armor. What do you what do you think of this DLC, Joel? Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. The first of the of the so pretty much ten dollars for this part for this part of the DLC. <laughs> I think it's a it's a fun addition to the story. I don't think it's that. I don't. I wouldn't say it's like super fantastic. I think. I do think some of the some of the other fun, some of the other things like letting your Pokemon follow you around are really neat. Although I wish you could do it not just on the Isle of Armor. I don't know why they don't make it so you can do that. It seems very arbitrary. I don't see why. I don't see what the problem is with just letting you do that anyway. I think they're just trying to like. To like screw with people who really want it back from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, <laughs> I feel like they're just slowly trickling it in to tease us. Yeah, I hope it's just a standard thing you can do in the next Pokemon game. Well, it's looking like Legends Arceus is exactly that. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. Yeah. Guess we'll find out. So yeah, that's the first part of the DLC done. And we only explored like half of the Isle of Armor. <laughs> to finish up the Isle of Armor main quest. Because again, there's a lot. <laughs> you know, considering the fact that this is the Isle of Armor. <laughs> Indeed. I don't think we even went down here. <laughs> like, there's plenty of places to go if you want Pokemon and such. You can run into a lot of them here. There's like an extra, like, 200 from this area alone, I believe. So, you know. Mm. Anyway, that's it for, for, for that, D for this part of the DLC. Next time, we're heading to the DLC that I gave up on. Crown Tundra. A.K.A. Legendary Central. <laughs> There's a reason I got all those damn Ultra Balls. Suffering is incoming. I have two Master Balls for a reason. <laughs> See you guys next time. Take care.